And secondly, I guess the most, uh, the obvious question that you're going to get, particularly in this country, in this political climate, is people, a lot of people watching Fox News or wherever, listening to the president maybe, have gotten the idea that Islam is a warlike religion. And I think some of them would actually be surprised and shocked to hear him described by a historian with expertise in this area, great expertise in this area, as a prophet of peace. So just as an opener, can we talk about that for a minute? What, what made uh, Muhammad a prophet of peace? Well, Muhammad's career falls into two uh, main eras. One, uh, about a decade uh, in his hometown of Medina when he preached as a prophet. Uh, and there, I mean, his hometown of Mecca, I meant to say. Uh, there in Mecca, he, um, he clearly, uh, if we go by the Quran, was preaching, uh, turning the other cheek. Uh, the Quran uh, instructs the believers who were harassed uh, because of their monotheism by the militant pagans of the city, uh, instructs them to uh, wish peace upon their persecutors uh, and peace in the sense of prosperity, well-being, uh, harmony. Uh, and the, the, there are many such verses in the Meccan period, uh, which, uh, ha in my view, haven't received proper attention. Uh, and then the militant pagans chased the early uh, believers in Muhammad's mission away to a nearby city of Medina. And then the pagans came after them. Uh, they uh, organized battalions and attacked them with, in hopes of taking the city and uh, crushing the new movement uh, and killing the believers. So uh, the Quran uh, instructs them to defend themselves. And uh, it admits that they didn't want to. They were more or less pacifists. Uh, and uh, it says that well, some things may be better for you and you don't realize it. Uh, but um, uh, what the Quran commands are, are defensive maneuvers. And this is in accordance with the ethics of the time. St. Augustine, St. Ambrose in the Christian Roman Empire said the same thing, that Ambrose said that if you let uh, an aggressor uh, you know, kill an innocent in front of your eyes, then you're as bad as he is. Uh, and so that you should defend your, yourself and defend your city uh, is not controversial. And uh, people who don't like Islam have frankly taken these verses commanding the believers to defend themselves completely out of context. Uh, and they're also, frankly, not very well translated. Uh, and so they've been used to smear the, uh, Muslims. But it, it's a, a dispassionate consideration of them. Uh, would find that there's nothing objectionable in what they say.